हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज संदीप कुमार सिन्हा वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज प्राइवेट इनकम वन ऑफ माय व्यूअर्स रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू प्रिपेयर अ लेक्चर वीडियो एंड ऑन प्राइवेट इनकम पर्सनल इनकम पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम एंड नेशनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम ऑल दो दीज टॉपिक्स आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड एट प्रेजेंट इन द सिलेबस फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन बट आई एम ऑफ द व्यू दैट ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट द फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन योर अल्टीमेट गोल इज कैरियर बिल्डिंग एंड फॉर कैरियर बिल्डिंग यू शुड नो और यू नीड टू लर्न द एवरी सिंगल कंपोनेंट attached with the national income accounting now in this very video i would describe only the private income and the remaining portions would be discussed in the later videos now let us start the topic private income private means private parties that includes both the that is individual households as well as the producing firms both combined together may be termed as called as private and income means amount of money received from any source whether it is a earned income or transfer income or income from any other source all the sum total taken together may be termed as the income and therefore we may define a private income as the sum total of factor income that is earned income and transfer incomes by the private sector from all the sources from within and outside the domestic territory which is written here on the board means it is the sum total of factor incomes and transfer income is both these incomes are added together and are received from all the sources by the private sector from within and outside the domestic territory means it also includes nfia it does not include only the factor income generated within the domestic territory but also from outside that it includes that is nfia now the question arises what are the components which are to be added together to get the private income the three components are there which are to be added now i have written it on the board these are the three components number 1 first component is the private sector income which is written in the question as that is income from domestic product domestic product means ndp and fc accruing to that is private sector and which is simply termed as private sector income first component is private sector income that is written in the question as income from domestic product that is ndp at fc accruing to private sector second component is net factor income from abroad that is nfia and the third component is that is current transfer that transfer incomes all the current transfer incomes which has got the three components together sum total we get the total transfer income and that's why we see that private income is the sum total of all the three components means getting the sum total of these three components we get the income that is called as private income that is income received by the private sector and we know now the ndp at fc the first component is private sector income how to find out this private sector income kaise nikalenge private sector income we know that ndp at fc that is domestic income ye jo hamara domestic income hai which is calculated in the income method of measurement of national income by taking the sum total of compensation of employees number 2 operating surplus and number 3 mixed income of self employed by taking the sum total of all the three we get the domestic income and it is also calculated as the sum total of the two number 1 is the private sector income and number 2 is the public sector income private sector income is income from ndp at fc accruing to private sector and the second component is income from ndp at fc accruing to public sector means public sector income or private sector income dono ko jod denge then we get the domestic income means using this formula we can find out the value of private sector income kaise so we simply deduct the public sector income from the domestic income to get private sector income thus 
द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ प्राइवेट इनकम दैट इज प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय डिडक्टिंग दिस पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम फ्रॉम द डोमेस्टिक इनकम दैट इज एनडीपी एट एफ सी एनडीपी एट एफ सी में इफ द पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम इज डिडक्टेड देन वी गेट द अमाउंट ऑफ प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम दैट द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ प्राइवेट इनकम नाउ दिस इज द पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम इट हैज ऑल्सो गॉट टू कंपोनेंट्स इफ इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इन दीज वर्ड्स then try to find out these two components in the question and the sum total of the two taken together will give us the value of public sector income that is first one is the income from property and entrepreneurship accruing to the government administrative department and the second component is savings of non departmental enterprises look for these components in the question get the sum total then you get the public sector income which is to be deducted from the total domestic income to get the private sector income the first component of private income and now we can write down the formulas after having a look all these components first component public that is private private sector income number 2 is nfia and number 3 is all current transfer that is the first formula to calculate the private income means how can we find out or calculate the value of private income by getting the sum total of private sector income nfia and all the current transfer incomes transfer incomes ka teen component hai jo main pichli video mein describe kar chuka hu number 1 interest on national debt number 2 current transfers from government administrative departments and number 3 the current transfers from rest of the world all the three to taken together will give the total transfer incomes so three taken together we get the that is private income now suppose this component is not known private sector income जो हमने यहां देखा ना प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम कैसे निकालेंगे तो एनडीपीएट एफ सी माइनस पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम दट इज द एनडीपीएट एफ सी माइनस पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम देन वी गेट द प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम प्लस एन एफ आई एट इज एन एफ आई एंड प्लस ऑल करेंट ट्रांसफर इनकम्स नाउ लुक एट हियर व्हाट इज दिस सम टोटल एनडीपीएट एफ सी प्लस एन एफ आई ए वी गेट दैट इज नेशनल इनकम n n p at f c so therefore the third from this is the second formula to find out the value of private income and that is the third formula means that is n p at f c plus n f i a that is equal to n n p at f c minus this one public sector income and this that is all current transfer incomes but in dono ka sum total minus public sector income we get that is private income is these are the three formula to calculate private that is income there is another formula that is fourth formula hai na jiske bare mein hum discuss karne ja rahe hain we just i am going to describe it on the board let's have a look at the fourth formula to calculate private income as we know that private sector includes both these two that is households that is individual households also called as factor owners and number 2 is the producing firms that is the producers now households income two incomes one is the earned income through their productive services in any production unit and that is called as earned income that earned income may be from within the domestic territory and also outside the domestic territory means it also includes nfi i mean that income is from within and outside the domestic territory and the second one is the transfer income is without doing any productive services or without anything in exchange if a person is earning or receiving a money income that is called transfer income and these two sum total of these two that is equal to called as personal income means income of a individual person and now look at the profit that is the income of the producing firm and this profit has the three components one is the profit tax which is paid to the government treasury that is also called as corporate tax second one is dividend this is the dividend that is paid to a individual person because the share certificate is issued in the name of an individual person and that's why this dividend 
is included in this personal income. This dividend that is paid out of the profit by any producing unit that is included in the personal income and third one is the undistributed profit. The three components taken together is equal to profit which is the income of the producing firms and now this dividend is included in the personal income. Then what are the components which are to be added to get the private income? This is the first component that is personal income. This is the second component that is profit tax and that is the third component that is undistributed profit 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is also private income which is written here private income is equal to personal income first component profit tax or corporate tax that is second component and third one is undistributed profit that is the fourth formula to calculate or to find out the value of private income in, in total there are four formulas as per the informations given in the question you can find out the value of private income that's all about the private income calculation now there is a difference between private income and national income that is the difference means private income is different from national income national income first one first difference humara kya hai ki national income that includes both the public and private sectors income. Dono ka income isme include karte hai national income mein means private sector income as well as the public sector income. But so far as private sector that is income is concerned means private income mein sirf ek income include karte hai that is called private sector income and public sector income is not included in this private income. Second point of difference is that national income includes only factor income that is only earned income and no inclusion of transfer income but the private income includes both that is factor income and transfer income dono ka inclusion hamara isme hai isme private income mein private income that includes factor income that is earned income and transfer income that is income received without anything in return that is all about the private income and now jo bhi hamara hai next video mein i would discuss the personal income personal disposable income and national income if you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel because it provides an incentive to give you more thank you goodbye